Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and this video is all about saving time when working with the sheets in your workbooks. I'm going to demonstrate how the new TabHound add-in will save you time with these tasks we do every day in Excel. I'm also going to share some tips and shortcuts for the fastest ways I found to do these tasks before I had the add-in. So you should learn a lot of handy Excel tips in this video. So one problem I run into a lot is searching through a workbook for a specific worksheet, especially when that workbook contains a lot of worksheets. Oftentimes a coworker will call me up and say, hey, I just emailed you a file. Would you mind taking a look at it? And when I open their file, I quickly realize that I'm not on the same sheet that they're looking at. So I'll ask them, hey, what sheet are you looking at? I'm, I think I'm on the wrong sheet. And they'll say something like, oh, I'm on the January business review sheet. So I'll start searching through their workbook to try and find the January business review sheet. And if it's a workbook like this that contains a lot of sheets and I'm not familiar with it, then it takes a lot of time just to find this sheet that they're looking at. So one thing I do, uh, it's just a quick little shortcut, is if you right click on these navigation arrows down here, that'll, take, that'll bring up this list of sheets, all the sheets in the workbook. So now we can see in a nice vertical list all these sheets in our workbook and I can basically search through it to try and find the, the sheet that I'm looking for. And then once you do find that sheet, if you just double click on the sheet name, that'll take you to the sheet and close that window. So again, just right click anywhere down here on uh, those navigation arrows, that'll bring up the sheet list and you just find that sheet and double click on it and that'll take you to the sheet and close the window. So those are a few little quick shortcuts you can do in Excel, but ultimately it's still not very fast when you're trying to scan through this giant workbook to find the worksheet you're looking for. And this is what led me to develop the TabHound add-in. So let's take a look at how TabHound works. So once you install TabHound, you'll see the Excel Campus tab appear up here on the ribbon. And within that tab, there's a TabHound button. And clicking on that button will open the TabHound window. So here in the tab hound window, the first thing you'll see is a list of all the sheets in the workbook here. And in the second column, you'll see whether or not that sheet is visible or hidden. And down here at the bottom, you'll see some stats about this workbook. So this workbook contains 38 worksheets. 31 of those are visible and seven are hidden. And up above the sheet list here is a search box. So my coworker said that we're looking for the January business review sheet. So if I start typing the word January in here, You'll see as I type, the sheet list is filtered down for the results for any sheet containing the word Jan in it. So now I have a list of all the sheets in the workbook that contain the word Jan in it. And we can now see that here's the sheet we're looking for, January Business Review. So if I double click on that, that'll take us to the sheet and close the tab hound window. So I'll just go through that real quickly again. Let's say our coworker calls up and says, hey, I want you to take a look at the January business review sheet in this file. Well, I simply just click the tab hound button to open the tab hound window. And from there, I can just start typing January to find January business review. And this time I'll use the arrow key on the keyboard and arrow down to January business review to select it. And then I'll hit the enter key on the keyboard and that'll take us to the January business review sheet and close the tab hound window. So it's a very fast way to search for a worksheet in your workbook and navigate to it. And that process can get even faster when you add the tab hound button up here to the quick access toolbar. So you see up here in my quick access toolbar, I've added the tab hound button right up here. And I did that by just right clicking on the tab hound button and then selecting this option, add to quick access toolbar. And you can do that with any button in the, uh, in the ribbon, any of the buttons in the ribbon on any tab, you can do that. So I added the button up here. So now no matter what tab I'm on in the ribbon, tab hound will always be right here for me to click on that button and open the tab hound window. And you can also access that button with a keyboard shortcut. So if I'm anywhere in Excel and I just press and release the Alt key on the keyboard, That'll bring up these numbers here on the quick access toolbar. And these numbers represent the keyboard shortcut for that button. So now if I press the number one on the keyboard, that'll basically press the tab hound button. So if I do that, I'll just press one on the keyboard. That'll bring up the tab hound window. So now basically my keyboard shortcut to open tab hound is alt one. 
So anytime I press Alt-1 on the keyboard, no matter where I'm at in Excel, that'll bring up the tab on window, and I'm now ready to search for any worksheet in my workbooks. I can just start typing a search term, and when I find that worksheet, click the Enter button, and that'll go to that sheet. So this really just allows you to fly through your workbook. So now I can just hit Alt-1 to open Tab Hound. Let's say I want to find my data table and go to that. I just start typing the word data in the search. And I see my data table uh, has already been selected here. The sheet's already been selected. So I just hit Enter on the keyboard, and that'll take me to my data table. So again, it's just a very fast way to search for any worksheet in your workbook. I've named all my worksheets that contain pivot tables. I've put the sheet, uh, pivot in the sheet name here. So now if I just start typing pivot, I'll see all my pivot sheets here. I can arrow down to whichever one I want to go to, hit the enter key, and that'll take me to that sheet. So another problem I run into a lot is flipping back and forth between two sheets in the workbook. Let's say I'm here on my summary sheet, and I want to go over to my data table sheet and copy some information into this sheet. So typically what I'd have to do if I was not using tab hound just go navigate to this sheet. Maybe I want to copy this information here. Then I would go back over to my summary sheet and click on it here and paste that information in. Kind of work back and forth between these two sheets. And it requires me to do a lot of horizontal scrolling down here at the bottom if these sheets aren't next to each other in the workbook. So TabHound has this feature called flip back, which makes this process a lot faster. It basically allows you to flip back and forth between two sheets in your workbook. And you'll see up here on the Excel Campus tab in the ribbon, there's a flip back button. So if I press that flip back button, that'll basically just take me back to the last sheet that I was working on. So now I've flipped back to my data table sheet. And here I could copy that information. I'm going to use Control C on the keyboard to copy that information that I want to copy. And then I'll just click the flip back button. And that'll flip me back to my summary sheet where I can then use control V to paste that information. And you can continue to do that. So if I press the flip back button again, that'll take me back to my data table sheet. And then maybe I want to copy out this information and then I'll flip back and paste it in my summary sheet right here. So it's a very fast way to flip back and forth between two sheets. So if you spend any time hiding and unhiding sheets in your workbook, I think you're really going to love tab hound. So let's say we want to hide these three sheets here for a monthly reporting package. Uh, so the first thing I would typically do is I'll select the first sheet and then I'll hold down the shift key on the keyboard and select the last sheet and that'll basically select all those three sheets and group them. And then I can right click and press the hide button to hide those three sheets. But now if I wanted to unhide those sheets, I would basically have to right click on any of the tabs down here, go to the unhide button and now I can only unhide one of these sheets at a time. So I can see that I want to unhide my July sh sheet here. If I just double click on that, that'll unhide the sheet. So that is one little shortcut. If just right click, unhide, select August and double click on it. That'll unhide August. But the problem is you can only do one at a time. You can't select multiple sheets here. So it can be pretty time consuming to hide or unhide multiple sheets at one time. So TabHound really helps with this process. So I'm going to open the TabHound window. And again, we have a list of all of our sheets here. And in the second column, we can see whether or not these sheets are visible or hidden. And TabHound also contains some filters to help you with this process. So up here in this drop-down box, you can see there's an option for visible or hidden. And if I select hidden, that's going to filter this list for all the hidden sheets in my workbook. So now I can see that all of these sheets are hidden, and there's seven of them. I can also see that down here in my stats bar. We have seven hidden sheets. And now I can use the shift or control key on the keyboard to select multiple sheets. So if I wanted to just unhide these three sheets here, I can use the shift key to select those three. And then I'll just click the unhide button over here. And that'll unhide those three sheets. We can see they've been made visible here and in the background as well. So TabHound makes this process of hiding and unhiding sheets very fast. So now I'm going to clear this filter by just now showing all the sheets in my workbook. And you'll see down below the sheet list, there's also these filter tab colors, which are basically just t colored tiles. And each of these tiles represents a tab color in our workbook. So we have some 
tabs in this workbook that are colored orange, blue, red, green, all these different tab colors in our workbook. And if you click on one of these tabs, that'll filter down the sheet list for just those tabs that are colored that specific color. So here I can see I just have two tabs in this workbook that are colored orange. I can click on the blue ones and that'll show me all my blue colored tabs in the workbook. So this is another way you can use tab hound to hide and unhide sheets if your tab colors have a specific meaning. So maybe you want to hide all of your orange or blue sheets. You could just click the orange tile there and then go select all these orange sheets click the hide button and that'll hide all of your orange sheets so it's a really fast way to filter down your list and then hide and unhide sheets as you can see tab hound will change how you work with excel by saving you a lot of time when navigating through your workbooks tab hound contains a lot of buttons over here that make it very fast to perform common tasks like copying and renaming sheets copying sheets to a new workbook, protecting and unprotecting sheets, and a lot more. In the next video, I will explain more about these features, and I will also show you how TabHound can add a table of contents to your workbook to make it very fast and easy for you and your readers to navigate through your file. TabHound has a friend named TabControl, and I will also show you how TabControl will help you quickly organize and manage the worksheets in your workbook. I think you're really going to love it. So I hope you learned something new from this video, and I have one quick favor to ask you. If you have a minute, please leave a comment below the video letting me know what you think of TabHound. Let me know what features you liked, or what features you would like to see added that would help save you time. Your feedback will really help make this add-in better. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.